and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a haul video. This is a bit of an impromptu video as I didn't have this planned, but I just received my package from Sephora. As some of you may know, last week was the big VIB sale where everything was 20% off. Now I don't like buying things at full price and this is the one time of year that I actually stock up on all my Sephora items and I made a very, very big purchase. So I have my Swiss Army knife and I'm going to open up this package and I'm just going to share with you all the things that I bought. So I'm just going to open this up. This is the, my big box from Sephora. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible so I'm just going to quickly go through all the products I bought. If you'd like me to do a review on these products, please leave a comment below and let me know and I'll see what I can do. So let's get started. First thing I picked up is the TLC Frambrose Glycolic Night Serum Refine and Regenerate with Raspberry Extract, Horse Chestnut, and 12-AHA Blend. And that's the product. And the only reason I bought this was I was reading reviews on Makeup Alley and Sephora and I was looking at reviews for the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Serum and that's the product I did buy. Um, but a lot of people were saying that this product was just as good and this one was a lot cheaper. So I'm excited to try this out. Next thing I picked up is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom. Amazonian clay palette in whatever color this is. I guess it's just called the Tartlet in Bloom palette. This one I bought for a friend. And what else did I pick up? Okay, I picked up the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I bought this as a Christmas gift for someone. I picked up the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Set in Trendsetter and Bombshell. Of course, I love Huda Beauty and I've never tried their lipsticks and I thought the contour kit would be a good deal to try some of her products. And this one comes with one lip contour and two liquid matte lipsticks. So I'm really excited to try this. And as I mentioned, I picked up the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. So this is the all-in-one lactic acid treatment. Someone at Sephora gave me a sample of this and they actually use it on me when I got a mini facial and it just made my skin so soft. And I always have flaky skin, like just skin flaking off everywhere and I found that this serum really, really helped. So I've been using samples for the last month or so. I kept going back getting samples and I was waiting for this VIB sale so I could stock up while it's on sale. The only bad thing was they were out of the big bottle, so I had to get the one ounce bottle versus the 1.7 ounces bottle. But that's okay, I'm just glad I got it. Next thing, the next few things I picked up. I picked up, oh, this one's not for me. I bought this for someone else. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Bigger Blacker Batter Mascara. My friend said this is her favorite mascara, and she said it's the best one. So I picked up two of these for her. And where's the other one? I don't know what the other one is yet. Um, and then I also picked up, this one's for my friend as well. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Exorcism. What else did I pick up? Oh yes. I picked these up for my husband. He's a huge fan of Bumble and Bumble and he loves using this Sumotech, which is a low gloss elastic molding compound. He uses this nonstop, so I picked up a few bottles of these. I picked up three for him. So it was on the ground, I hope they don't break picked up two of my favorite foundations. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick. I picked up two of them. One in my color, which is 123, and one in the color 177. And this is one of the darker shades, and I purposely got this so I could contour my face, contour my chubby cheeks. <laughs> Next thing I picked up is another Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the color Vem... Vampira, Vampira, is that how you say it? And this one is for my friend as well. I picked up this Makeup Forever Mist and Fix 2 setting spray. I currently use Max Fix Plus and I like it, but I wanted to try something different and I don't want to splurge on the full size. So I decided to get the small bottle. Even though this is more expensive per ounce, I'm still saving money because I don't know if I like it yet. So I picked up the small bottle. Um, this one I actually bought for my sister. This is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion Number no. 3. She swears by this stuff, so if you have oily, acne-prone skin, this is what she uses. Um, what else is there? Oh, I picked up the Clarisonic Mia 2, and this is the limited edition uh, with Kate Somerville products. I actually bought this as a Christmas gift. Again, I'm not going to tell you who it's for. And so I picked up the First Aid Beauty 
Pure Skin Face Cleanser. It removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime, safe for sensitive skin. I currently use the Philosophy Pure Makeup Remover. I like it, but I was reading the ingredients and it's not actually all natural. So I'm trying to find another all natural face cleanser. So I'm gonna give this one a try. What else is in here? This is, oh, the second Urban Decay Perversion Mascara that I picked up for my friend. And then I got my three samples because you always get free samples with Sephora orders. And this is the Lom, I can't say this. Lom Yves Saint Laurent Old Time Perfume. Mm. Picked up the Sheer Glow Foundation from NARS sample. And then the Benefit, the Professional sample. Okay. Last but not least, I picked up this, well, this is free. So whenever you shop on Sephora online, at the very end, you can choose if you want things gift wrapped and they give you boxes or a bag. And I chose a bag just because I thought it was cute so I can put like my hair dryer or something in it. Don't tell them it wasn't a gift. So when I got the email from Sephora stating that they're gonna have the VIB sale coming up, I actually started adding all the things I wanted into my cart already. And I was ready to purchase it once the sale started. But a few of the things I really wanted to buy were already sold out and that's because I'm not a VIB Rouge member so they had priority for the sale and I believe the sale for them started on the 4th while VIB started on the 11th. I'm still glad that I ordered everything online because I got the majority of everything I wanted and I didn't have to line up at Sephora. And I know this because on the weekend I stopped by Sephora during the sale and it was crazy. It was lineups out the door. Every product was sold out. It was such a mess and I was just so thankful that I got the email and filled up my shopping cart ahead of time and then it was just shipped to my door and I didn't have to worry about anything. That's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I know I rushed through all of the products that I bought but I wanted it just to be a haul and if you'd like a review on any of the products please let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Um, yeah, well thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.